morning everybody and welcome to my channel life with the fosters today is wednesday june the 15th arabella is still currently asleep in the bed so i have the baby monitor on the shelf next to me just kind of watching her making sure she does not roll anywhere because she is a roller and she does like to move around a lot so i'm taking this time just to go ahead and get myself ready for the day um, I've been doing this for the past several days now, just getting ready first thing in the morning so that way, A, it motivates me to actually get my butt moving, and B, I don't feel like such a slug, <laughs> which I absolutely love. those of you that don't follow me on Instagram I did chop off my hair I actually cut quite a bit off the back and around the sides and I absolutely love how much better it feels now it's not as hot on me especially with it being outrageously hot outside I say hot so much and I even got some cute tinsel in my hair as well just for the summer <laughs> Bump up day, we are 35 weeks pregnant today and baby has dropped. And trust me when I say, I feel every bit of it. Good morning. Good morning. How's my girl, huh? Oh, hi. Sleepy head. You see them so good. Are you trying to go back to sleep now? <laughs> Say good morning. Oh, look at that bed head. <coughs> good morning, world. <laughs> She's so precious. I love her so much. feels like they have to do a belly flop every single time they make their bed and ours is just mostly because of the way the room's arranged now like I love it better but it's such a pain And it actually feels pretty daggone good. <laughs> Makes me feel a little bit more put together. So I'm hoping it's a habit I can keep because I kind of like it right now. You ready to go bake some breakfast? I'll turn your kitty cat on in the living room. Does that work? <laughs> She's so precious.
We're starting off our morning by just cleaning up after breakfast, putting away yesterday's dishes and breakfast dishes, just trying to tidy things up. I am going to talk to you all about this a little bit later, but I have been looking a lot into the fly lady's method of cleaning. And so we're also going to do what she calls shining our sink, which is a deep clean of our sink using, I'm going to use dish soap in this instance instead of my multi-purpose cleaner because it actually helps break down grime a lot better in my opinion. I'm not gonna complain, I love it. But um, we're gonna finish cleaning up the kitchen, wiping down the stove, countertops, all that fancy jazz. We're gonna spruce up the living room, and then we're gonna go get some food. Hold on. We're gonna go get her a little bit of food to eat for lunch because she's gonna be staying with my mother-in-law while I go to the doctor. Watch your bubble. So it's gonna be a very eventful day. You got me dancing in a storm, burning everything we know, dressing up as firefighters. You got me dancing in your stove, or I'm looking like a breeze, but really you're a forest fire. You got me feeling uncomplicated. Whatever happens is meant for us. kitchen sink so now we're just going to touch base on the countertops with using the method pink grapefruit multi-purpose cleaner i absolutely love this cleaner and i would recommend it to anybody Okay, so I am taking down this little board here. I've actually ordered some magnetic dry erase boards that I believe is gonna help me to stay better organized to put on the fridge. And we're just gonna do a quick, quick wipe down of the fridge while we're here. She absolutely loves to be wherever I'm at in the house, even if I'm cleaning. So right now she's just sitting on the edge of the kitchen floor watching me sweep and she does not move the entire time. So even when I wet mop the floor, she's still there watching my every move. I'm thinking you were made for me. 
me Isn't it my birthday yet? Cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got the system, my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it You could be one of the things I love Sunday morning breakfast with my bedroom door locked I like everything that has a cherry on top Get on my list of the things I love, love, love You could be the one I trust All the second chances they are nothing for us Now we're just going to straighten up the living room and tidy it up a little bit just to try to make it look better because it is a little chaotic. Lindsay's I got for baby brother the other day. Look how cute! And this one, the little tent flap even comes home on it. It's so precious. The rest of it. You could be one of the things I love Sunday morning breakfast with my bedroom door locked I like everything that has a cherry on top Get on my list of the things I love, love, love You could be the one I trust All the second chances say I'm nothing for us I never knew it was humanly possible for one child to have so many toys. This isn't even half of what she has. She has a whole slew of other toys and play groceries in her tent in the playroom behind the couch. So I'm just blown away at how many toys this kid has. I tried to get Arabella to move back or at least to move to the kitchen floor which was now dry and she absolutely refused so I had to vacuum around her bless her heart thank god she's no longer scared of vacuum cleaners my husband traumatized her when she was littler with the vacuum hose just playfully you know pretending like he was gonna suck at her shirt or something and she absolutely screamed for the longest time when it come to vacuum cleaners, but now she's finally about over it. We are ready for our day. We are rocking a white cami and some denim shorts with little watercolor splatters. She is so cute. Arabella, say hi. So now we're gonna go get her some lunch and we're also gonna drop by the library and drop off her books that she had.
Okay, so this weather is absolutely gorgeous. It is so pretty, barely any clouds in the sky. It is, however, ridiculously hot. The humidity is through the roof. It's rained the past several days, but it did absolutely nothing to kill out that humidity. It's still miserable, just so, so miserable. some lunch because it is about 11 30 going on 12. my daughter's appointment is a little after one so we are running a little short on time in my opinion anyway because i always like to be early for my appointments but it is what it is we'll run with it so we're gonna go get our food and then we're gonna go hang out with my mother-in-law for a few minutes until it's time for me to leave for my appointment <music> Okay, y'all, so this guy that was behind me right now literally tries coming up on my side, and there's not even really a turn off here, and he tried to cut me off. Like, really? Oh, my Lord. Look at this line. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so that line was outrageously long, so we're just going to do curbside and have them bring our food to us because that lawn is, it's bad. Maybe it's something in the water or maybe we just hit the end of the road. Right now it doesn't even matter. It's too late not to let it go. And that's why I wish you the best and say to get dressed and then we cry Cause we both know it's gonna hurt Alright y'all, so I have made it to the health department for my non-stress test um, This visit is in Wayne County today And then I will be in the next county over Actually getting a new ultrasound to check the baby's fluid and Dopplers on Friday. I did have an appointment this past Friday. Um, <clears throat> my last video was last Wednesday after I'd had my non-stress test and they put me on modified bed rest. Um, that was extended after my visit on Friday. Um, baby is doing well, but my blood pressure is still elevated. So they are rather concerned about that. And they did go ahead and check my cervix because I was feeling rather crampy and just not feeling well and having a lot of pain, which I'm still having a lot of pain, but it's mostly in my lower back right now. And it's very constant. It doesn't ease off. There's nothing that really helps it or makes it go away. But my cervix was already trying to start thinning as of last week. So her exact words were to me were to take it easy and not do anything unless I absolutely had to, which is extremely difficult with a toddler and my um, wantingness to clean and my nesting instinct has kicked in fully now. So I'm dealing with that as well. But before I went in here, I wanted to talk to you all about um, this amazing find I got. Now, Fearfully Created, um, she is also a YouTube mama. Some of you may know her, Marina. She featured this book on her channel here a little while back, and I just had to have it. 
So I got me a copy of it and I got my mother-in-law a copy of it too. And guys, I am in love with the Fly Lady's method to cleaning. I absolutely love how she breaks things down and how she makes it to where you don't feel so overwhelmed when looking at your house. So I am slowly starting to incorporate some of her methods into my cleaning routine, such as, you know, getting dressed first thing of the morning, you know, to get yourself motivated, making the bed, something that I typically do not do, I've started doing and I actually thoroughly enjoy it. So I'm going to link this book down in the comments for those of you that are looking for a stress-free, easy way to clean. She breaks it down and makes it really simple to understand. And I've already been taking notes. As you can see, there are notes and tabs everywhere and I'm not done yet. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and link this down below, but I'm going to go ahead and get in here and see what I can't find out and we'll be with you guys in a little bit. <laughs> y'all it is 2 18 and I just got out of my appointment they actually got me back and out in a decent time um everything went well the baby is moving very widely wildly his heartbeat is through the roof um I think it actually kind of surprised the nurse practitioner she said this baby's wild and I'm like he's always wild he's my little acrobat that's what I tell everybody so everything did go good um just got to keep my appointment for my ultrasound on Friday have another non-stress test next week so now I'm going to go to the store grab Arabella some more milk and we need toilet paper we're out of toilet paper and then I'm gonna go home and relax because that's paying off you know taking it easy is paying off I can feel things a little better but they did tell me you know to um be very cautious of anything out of the usual anything that I feel is off they need to know so we are still just riding the coast and seeing what happens um I don't believe I'm gonna make it till August the 11th I just I have a gut feeling he's gonna come a little earlier than that I can pray that he doesn't but August the 11th is actually 39 weeks I had Arabella at 38 weeks so maybe I don't know but we're just gonna go along with it and see what happens but I'm gonna go ahead and get this last little bit of an errand done and head home and relax for the afternoon so that is all I've got for you guys thank you all so much for coming out like and subscribe if you haven't already um, I want to do a Q&A soon, so if you have any questions for me and about my life, how I grew up, anything like that, drop them in the comments below, because I want to kind of compile a list together of questions to answer for my subscribers, so that way you all can get to know me better. And drop a fun fact in the comments about yourself. I want to know you all better too, because you guys are considered friends in my book, so I do want to get to know you guys better as well, but we are going to go ahead and hop off here, and we'll see you in the next one.